Hello, thank you for joining me again. I really, really appreciate it. I want to talk today about a saying. The saying that we used to be given when I was a child. And it's sticks and stones may break your bones. But names will never hurt you. Hmm. Yeah, sticks and stones, they can physically damage us. Maybe even break those bones. Certainly cut and bruise us. But words as well can have a lasting effect. We can't stick a plaster over the wounds that they cause. And yet, if we're telling children that words shouldn't affect them, but they are affected by the words that are thrown at them. That could further send their mental health down a few steps. Oh, well, I've been told words don't hurt me, but they are. So what's wrong with me? Oh, there must be something wrong with me. So I hope it is a saying that has been long kicked into touch. But as for those words and the hurt, as I've said before, if we can't separate our minds and our bodies. They're inextricably linked for good and for bad. Our mental and emotional health affects our bodies and how our bodies are affect our emotions and mental health. It's an ongoing interchange. And the words that are thrown at us, usually in order to hurt us, they do last. And I can bear witness to this. I was verbally abused for quite a long time. And I had to go to the doctor. I said, my hair's dropping out. My eyebrows they've disappeared and I assured him that no I had not overplucked them they just literally dropped out so uh, lots of tests done and when I went back to see him he said the only thing that we can come up with is stress have you been under any stress recently yeah so that was one of the physical effects of the horrible words that were being thrown at me the lies told about me and told to me but then i went to the doctor again and i was told that if i didn't stop the source of my stress that i wouldn't be darkening her door for much longer Wow, that was a sharp pull-up call for me. And the source of my stress, I had to get out a big hatchet and blocks were put on phones, everything, and contact ceased. Very dramatic, very severe, but necessary for my mental health, my emotional health, and obviously for my physical health as well. So don't let those words get to you. It's easier said than done. Try and get methods of erasing them, eliminating them. Now, because I've been talking about mine, those words are back in my mind. So when I finish, I'm going to have a cuppa. Then I'm going to get out before it starts to rain and have a walk in nature and have a little rant if necessary, but just breathe and tell myself that I'm okay. So take care of yourself and please join me tomorrow. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. Thank you, bye.